Hey, 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 it's me, your girl Sherry 4C, and I'm back with eight months of growth. I just pulled out my braids of 11 weeks and I got really excited about this tutorial um, and bleaching my hair, so let's just get into it. You know, I started with the bleach, 30 volume developer, three scoops. I ended up mixing an additional three scoops on top of that, so make sure you start off with six scoops and mix to a creamy consistency. I mixed it in, I started applying it in the center of my head because I know the edges would process faster. This is what it looked like right after I finished putting it on and then I'm gonna put a plastic bag over it left it on for 30 minutes this is what it looked like after 30 minutes and after I washed it out with some purple shampoo it's cute it's cute but then I realized I had to detangle it because it left all the it left a strong line of demarcation in the center of it so make sure you detangle your hair before you start bleaching it because as you can see that strong line of demarcation um, but I'll go over that in the second bleaching process a day from now that's how much hair I lost day two I thought I would blow out my hair so that I can evenly distribute all the bleach and that it covers all of my hair. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't run out of bleach. So I think this was the easiest process to go about that instead of putting it on curly hair. Line of demarcation again. This is after 24 hours. And I'm mixing up six scoops of the bleach and the 30 volume developer and applying it to the thickest part of my hair once again and working my way around. I let it sit again for 30 minutes with the towel on it so that it could just heat up the process. And that's what it looked like after 30 minutes. And then I rinsed it out. Okay, there's me rinsing it out with purple shampoo. back is is darker and deeper than the top but you know my hair texture is different all throughout my hair I then wanted to tone I use Wella T14 and 20 volume developer in equal parts of one to two parts developer it stunk it all throughout my hair and it was just enough to cover all of it so I guess if your hair is in a teeny weeny afro or I guess if your hair isn't short like me then you should probably get two bottles of it but t14 was all they had at the beauty supply store so I thought I, I would be different from the t18 It's slowly changing colors. Yes. Put it in a bag and I left it sit for 30 minutes. This would look like afterwards. 
and then I rinsed it out. It looks green in this light, but I promise you it's blonde. I think it's green. Like it looks like really green, but it's blonde. It looks green. <laughs> it's like olive colored. <laughs> My texture is a lot softer and I did apply some silicone mix after I rinsed it out so like it feels pretty healthy. Person, it looks like, like I just look a, a pale ash grandma. blonde. But it looks pretty green. Uh, right now I'm gonna be blowing out my hair uh, so that I can trim it. I haven't trimmed my ends in you know eight months, so I'm gonna go through and uh, straighten it and trim off bit by bit as you can see it's super choppy but i'm gonna go in with a pumpkin style cut and trim it up in a pumpkin shape so that it doesn't look so blockity block block This is what it looked like day three. I slept on it, had three hours of sleep. I'm gonna go in and do that choppy chop chop chops on here. It's cute, honestly. It's giving me a lot better than the yellow vibes last year because I couldn't afford to tone my hair. I couldn't afford that $5 bottle of toner. So I was just like, this year, I can afford to tone my hair and not look like a yellow bella. Yeah, so I'm going in with the pumpkin putt vertical piece by piece and just trimming it off. I honestly don't care that it was uneven. I just wanted to make sure that when I combed my hair, there would be the least amount of resistance as possible. And I threw in some more curls just cause I look a little aged, but I'm just happy that, you know, it looks better. But anywho, I tried to style it up cause I didn't like the style. Honestly, this style didn't last more than two hours because I took a nap and then I went to go walk my doggy. And I live in Florida, so humidity was on 23 out of 10. So my hair puffed up almost instantly. But I came, I conquered, I slayed, and that's all that mattered. And then from here, I'll show you clips of it outside. This is what it looked like outside. As you can see, it is not green, it is blonde. The back is like browny color, but the top is like a little bit more whiter, which I think the color came out real cute. Um, I probably won't have it straightened for very long, but I'm just glad it didn't fall out. Thank you, bye.